Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, stabilizing your video. Now there's a common misperception in the idea of stabilizing video. People think that um, it's controlling the left and right and up and down position, but I'm going to use this chart to demonstrate that when you are walking with a camera, the camera is not just moving perfectly up, down, left and right. It's actually pitching and yawing and rotating and all of that causes different kinds of distortion in different parts of the frame. And that distortion needs to be removed. If you simply move the frame up and down, left and right, you're never really restoring a real uh, uh, unstable or stabilized video. So the warp stabilizer, which is in After Effects and in Premiere Pro, um, will look at that distortion, look at the movement, find out it actually plots a three-dimensional camera 3D point cloud in the background, you don't see that, and then it uses that to warp the opposite way. So whatever the distortion was, it's gonna warp it back and the results are astonishing. Let's have a look. All right, here's some footage on the left-hand side. You can see the original, uh, pretty bouncy on the right-hand side. Absolutely rock solid, amazing example. And there's a full screen version of the same thing. The results really are pretty amazing. Parallax, which is the convergence of all of those different lines, usually uh, can cause a problem in stabilization software, but down at the bottom you can see the results look rock solid. This is the most startling example. This is my buddy Sebastian walking with his uh, Canon 5D Mark II with a very heavy lens and you can see there's that telltale left and right movement of, of someone walking. The warp stabilized results look like a camera dolly. Look at that beautiful movement absolutely unbelievable. You'd swear that somebody had a dolly sitting on the ground and was moving it along. All right, so how do we apply that? Well, inside Premiere Pro, with your footage in the timeline, you go to the effects and you just search for warp. If you type in warp, you'll see wave warp. We don't want that. Warp stabilizer, drag that onto the footage and it will start to stabilize that footage. Now let's look at an example that I have here, and I've got this on a loop, and you can see it looks pretty stable. I'm going to turn Warp Stabilizer off so you can see the original footage. Look at that. Incredible. So let's look at the settings here. First of all, we've got smooth motion or no motion, and I'll show you an example of no motion in a second. And subspace warp is this distortion warping uh, that we're using in, in Premiere Pro and After Effects to create a stable video. If we just go to position information and we do not crop, let's just stabilize that only. This is typical what people think of when they think of stabilization. This is the example where I'm talking about the camera moves up, down, left, and right. So when it moves this way, you just jerk the camera or jerk the frame over that way. It does not look good at all. So um, Let's go back to, so that's position, scale, perspective, but subspace warp is the one that gives us this beautiful motion. Now down at the bottom, the default here is to stabilize and crop. And if you just use stabilize only, you can see that the video frame is stabilized, but you can see these black edges occurring on the outside. So if we just choose stabilize and crop, this stabilizes it and it crops it perfectly, but we can see that outside frame. The best option is to use the default, stabilize, crop, and auto scale. I'm not gonna look at synthesize edges. This is, uh, rarely does this work, so I'm just gonna choose this one. And it scales it up and now it looks perfect. Let's jump to full screen and look at this. Incredible, beautiful. 
So if you're saying to yourself, well, then it scales up the video. Does it blow up the video? Absolutely it does. It has to, or we get those black edges. So you do what they do in Hollywood. If you know you're going to stabilize the shot while you're framing the shot, looking through the camera, back it off a little bit, zoom out a little 10 or 20%, and then you'll know you'll be cropping in. Or even better, if you've got the option of shooting larger frames, this is the cool thing about shooting 2K or 4K and delivering HD, you can actually shoot with a larger frame, stabilize it, and then crop in. Perfect. All right, let's go look at a, an example with no motion. In this example, you can see it looks pretty stable, and that's with smooth motion. And I'll turn off, here's the original. And here's with smooth motion. Let's turn off all motion. So now this looks as close to a, um, this looks like you had the shot on a tripod. Now the last example I want to show you is what I call impossible footage. Now let's, uh, now this does have black bars on it only because that's, that's in the frame. What I want you to recognize are these jiggly things going on and we've stabilized this footage and your thought might be when you're looking at your results that you'll look at that and you'll if you see this area right in here and you'll think you might think that the software is making that occur and that's wrong let me show you what we're talking about here if I turn off warp stabilizer and we go back into that same footage you'll see that same blurring is occurring why is that occurring well, it occurs um, usually because of shutter speed and the movement of, I'm, I'm walking with like a, a, a typical, this is like a, a handheld handy cam, which isn't a great camera to, for uh, stabilization to begin with. And every time I walk, the shutter is not, uh, um, shutter slow so that it's actually blurring the video. The blurring is in the footage. Warp stabilizer stabilizes the frame, can't remove the blurring. All right, so there are some situations where stabilization might not work, but when it does, it's incredible, like that dolly shot that I showed you at the beginning. Well, hopefully you found this informative. If you have, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.